This program is proudly brought to you by the VAFA Live Official App. With live scores, team stats, player stats and much, much more. Everything you need for the VAFA in the palm of your hand. Download it from the App Store or Google Play now. Good afternoon and welcome to Bulleen Park West, over where we have uh, The Rock uh, right beside us here, Ali, and we've got Tom Stafford, the coach, over here. Now, uh, so the, it was a good start today. It was an even contest at the start, um, and then later on, um, the Marcelin just kicked away. Uh, what were your thoughts straight after the game? Um, straight after the game, I was pretty happy with the girls. I think uh, the difference with us at the moment and, and other teams, it's particularly as, as we're progressing through the season, is that we've got such a good spread over the field and there's not one or two key players. Like, I just trust every girl out there on the bench, emergency. Uh, there's just so much talent there and um, I think every week now we're gelling even more, even since round one. So just our structure, our play, uh, it looks dangerous, dangerous all down the field. So it's really, really positive. Fantastic. And I noticed Shaylee Taylor kicked a couple of nice goals today. Um, she's kicked a few the last few weeks. Um, do you look for her going to the forward line, or which wins you, who's your main marking targets up forward? Yeah, definitely. Um, Shaylee's been fantastic so far, and she has the ability to, to make a lot of space for herself. And uh, as a team, we're, we're wanting to give her more space because we back her in a one-on-one in -on -one contest. Uh, in saying that, we've got some really good talent down there. We've got Kiara Moretta as well. We've got Batman, you know, crumbing the ball a fair bit, Robbo Jr. So if we can make space... Uh, I think if we hit the hot spot and uh, some pretty you know, good magic can happen down there. Fantastic. And does Batman have wings? That's all we want to know. Yeah, she sure does. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, what are your thoughts, Tom, after the match? After the match? Yeah, as Ali said, it's a real consistent effort um, around the ground, forwards, backs, mids. Look, uh, St. Kevin's really good. Uh, first 10 minutes, they came out uh, ready to go, which we expected. Uh, but, you know, look, I was really happy with the girls, how we responded, particularly uh, in the second quarter. Just really kind of got the game on our terms and, you know, really uh, everyone contributed. Uh, Robertson was good today. Laura Robertson was good again. Um, I noticed Wang Hartman also had a few touches. Um, she's progressed nicely the last few weeks. Um, how is she going the next few weeks? Do you expect her to play more midfield in the next few weeks or is she more half-back or where do you expect her to play? Yeah, got the ability to, uh, with a number of players to play uh, forward, back, and in the middle. So, look, we'll uh, we'll spread them across. We haven't just got people who stay in the midfield. We, you know, we like to, uh, you know, across everyone to, to learn play all the positions. Because I think, uh, you know, if you've got to have more than string one to string up your bow, and uh, that's probably our advantage at the moment is we're a bit unpredictable um, with our plays. And you know, it's it's all uh, we're all learning. And where we're at the moment, you know, we're happy how we're going. But the exciting thing is we've got a we've got a, um, a lot to look forward to, and you know, we've got to, we've got to still improve. That's good, and we've got old exams next week. Um, now they're undefeated so far this season. Um, how do you think they're going? How do you think you're going to go next week? Good, Sam. Yeah, look, uh, we're really excited about playing them. I think uh, they're uh, playing it tomorrow. I think or this afternoon. So, look, um, we're really excited. Uh, every team we play, you know, I said it last week, it's a real even comp. You've just got to be on your game every every uh, every week. So it doesn't really matter who our opposition is. We're just going to come out ready to go. Thanks very much, Tom. Thanks, The Rock. And we, that's it for us here, um, interviewing Marcelin. And we're going to go over to Josh now, and he's going to join the coach there. Thank you very much. All right, thanks for that, Joel. I'm here at Bulleen Park West for Complete Sports Management with um, St. Kevin's after a disappointing loss to Marcelin. Um, I just felt that Marcelin brought a lot of tackling pressure, and you guys maybe struggled a bit to deal with it. Oh, Marcelin, very physical team. They've got some strong girls. They they structured well, well coached. Um, I was really proud of our girls. I was pretty excited about the game, actually. I thought the uh, the effort the girls played for the whole four quarters and the effort of the contest was was really good. Um, so, yeah, just Marcelin's pressure around the football and their strength around the, the contest, probably something we'll try and keep her on. But, no, the girls did really well. It was a good effort. Good game. Yeah, I thought you guys... Um did well under difficult circumstances. Marcelin's been a very good side so far this year. Um, so for you in particular, had quite a few tackles today. Maybe needed a few more to go with you. Um, what do you think you guys could maybe do differently to deal with the pressure? Um, I think just after last season, we 
our starts just need to be a bit stronger. I know that we came out of the our gates like a bit rusty and they were beating us to the footy and that kind of really set the pace for the game. I think next time we play them we just need to make sure we come out firing and make sure we're in front and using our opportunities because we did we pulled like pulled together really hard in the last half which was impressive. Yeah, I thought you guys were a lot stronger in the second half. Um, Ali, you in particular, I thought the Marcelin Ruckland probably had the better of you in the first half, but you got on top of her in the second half, I thought. I um, thought you were good, but just maybe not, again, not capitalising from the hitouts. Just It seemed like Marcelin were getting a lot of clearances. Yeah, I think we knew going into this game that they'd be strong. Um, I think the, their ruck got 75 hitouts last week, for instance. So um, we knew it was going to be a tough contest there. Um, I think our mids did really well. The tackling pressure, like a Sophie, as you said, Bree Doyle, mm. um, absolutely sensational. So I think we brought it to them. But, yeah, she was obviously a very strong ruck and got a lot of clearances. So um, hard fought. Yeah. All right. And um, Tommy, just obviously disappointing today, but I did think that you guys were pretty strong against a very strong Marcelin team. And what can you learn from today? Oh, I think uh, our back line's playing really strong footy, so I'm really proud of that. I, I think uh, we found a few players today that hadn't played much. Um, I think the first game today played by Georgie Collin in the back line was a real good positive, going, going down back. Uh, Sarah Minahan, she's uh, really grown in confidence. I was really wrapped with her game, taking a few grabs. So Emma O'Shannon, she's developing. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting, actually. I, I love coming down to footy. I love playing top opposition and uh, I love seeing the girls improve in the way they are. So I'm a very happy man and I love this game of football. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. All right, we'll wrap it up there. I've been Josh for Complete Sports Management from Boleyn Park West. Thanks and Kevs. Good luck for next week. Cheers. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.